We're going to make our Cape Breton Island cookie cutter. Um, we've got a print of Cape Breton Island outline off the internet and uh, I'm going to uh, draw simplify lines around the outside of it um, and I'm going to exclude a couple islands uh, might be a problem with some people but uh, to simplify my cookie cutter and make it better for baking I'll do that um, I'm going to make the cookie cutter out of the stainless steel uh, food grade stainless steel that I had cut into thin strips to make cookie cutters uh, I'm going to uh, use a, a thinner one to make uh, imprints uh, of the Brudor Lake in the central part of uh, Cape Breton Island and uh, so I'll start drawing these uh, lines and make them simplified and uh, this will probably be a little too simplified for some people but I will follow the simplified line when I'm bending the metal and uh, then I'll make uh, the thinner the, with the thicker material and then with the thinner material I'll do the uh, lakes in the center and uh, I'll put a strap of uh, the metal across the island to support the uh, thinner strips um, in location where it should be um, and uh, this should work out um, let's see how it goes okay due to uh, holding the camera and bending this metal uh, being very difficult at the same time um, I've uh, kind of loosely following the lines of the outline I've uh, made on this Cape Breton uh, outline map um, I've highlighted it with a marker and now I'm trying to bend a similar I won't say exact but a similar shape um, to my highlighted outline and uh, so far I've got uh, about a third of the way around um, and uh, I'll just keep bending using uh, a tool like this and uh, simply grabbing it and applying uh, pressure with uh, with my hand and uh, this pliers uh, giving it a twist uh, you can't bend extremely sharp bends uh, with this uh, but uh, it'll, it'll it works really well for cookies because you don't really want sharp bends in cookies okay so we're near complete on um, the uh, outline of, of the Cape Breton Island cookie cutter um, we just got to probably cut it to length here a little bit maybe leave a little overlap to, uh, while we'll do a little spot weld um, uh, and uh, straighten it out a bit I will flatten out when I make these cookie cutters, I have to flatten it out so that the whole thing makes uh, contact with the surface evenly. There's a uh, there's very little gaps now, but we'll bend it until uh, it's uh, completely flat. And uh, now I got to make the lakes in the center and uh, a bridge that I can weld those onto so they supported uh, and they won't quite cut as deep. They'll just leave an impression. Okay, I've got the, the basic shape of this cookie cutter cut out. Uh, so now that the this is a very basic, I guess, shape of Cape Breton Island, minus a couple of smaller islands, and uh, the details, um, of course, are not that sharp, but it's going to be a cookie, so we can't make it too sharp of corners. Um, I'm going to have these pieces. You can see this metal is not as 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 thick that's to 
set back the Bredore Lake. Um, these have to be uh, pinched together, spot welded. These two pieces I bent, they're not very accurate either. I had a hard time bending these little sharp bends. Uh, stainless steel doesn't bend very easily. Um, but once I, I get those spot welded, I'll place them um, in there. And I will put a bridge across that I'll weld them onto across the cookie cutter that will support them and then there will be there will be a small they will just leave imprint on the cookies when you cut them um, for the Bredor Lake and that's the only features I've put on the inside of the, the island and that will be how I do this uh, Cape Breton cookie cutter uh, Cape Breton Island cookie cutter so hopefully the welding turns out and we'll see how that goes got our piece here that we're going to weld and a couple of the small bits we're going to get welded on with that if I can find them there are okay we got our clamp onto the table and uh, onto uh, the edge of the table and uh, we got our welding helmet and our welding gloves so we'll put all that on and uh, we'll start welding I don't know what setting I want this at but uh, need a, a whole bunch Looks like it's in there okay. Um, huh. Take that over there and see if it held. Uh, yeah, you can see the spot weld is uh, it's okay. Uh, not too bad. I'll probably just stick another tiny weld right here on the outside edge but I'll stay away from this leading edge this leading edge is is where the cook cookie would actually be cut when we're uh, cutting out the cookies um, so we don't we don't know what's in this metal so we don't want it to cook the food if we can help it okay our, our welds are not too bad they don't have to be too fancy but you can see I didn't weld right down to the edge I want to stay away from that cookie edge uh, I gotta clean it up a bit after. Um, I'll just take a Brillo pad, scuff off those uh, welding uh, smoky stuff, whatever it is. Um, so we've got that welded up, and now we need to uh, get our little uh, parts in here. From uh, there's some little features from the door that we want to do. You can see I've done a little weld here. Um, this is how I do it: just put a little glob of weld on there, uh, and then grind it off a bit because it's hard to control this. Um, but that's enough to to hold this. So I'll I'll grind that off, 
and then we'll line these up in here um, to approximately where they're going to be and we'll weld them on with this plate. I've drilled some holes through so I can weld from the other side and uh, I'll weld those pieces on. Um, like so. I will spot weld them on there a little bit and then I'll put that piece on back on top of this and weld it and then that will give us that little little space uh, between them. So these these lakes will, the uh, outline of the lakes uh, will be just um, show up as an imprint on the top of the cookie. It won't actually cut through the cookie in theory. So hopefully that works out. Some of the cookie cutters I've made previously are these uh, teapots. And then I've made a set of tools, a saw, a hammer, a screwdriver, and a wrench. And we've made a sweater and a candy cane, a leprechaun's hat, a lucky horseshoe, um, a pot of gold cookie cutout or, or a witch's cauldron. I don't remember what the triangle was for, but we made that. And this is what I used to make, were these this style of cookie cutter. And this was the old uh, pot of gold. And we had a, a Celtic cross. And I've made a new one out of the stainless steel. I think the only one I haven't remade was I made this uh, cookie cutter for a fiddle. And uh, I haven't remade that one yet. Then of course we've made the lighthouse, our local lighthouse, low, low point lighthouse. And now, finally, we've got the Cape Breton Island cut out. Um, I've still got to clean it up a little more, but uh, that should make a nice cookie.